Now let's try using the Trogtronic M277 as a quote-unquote normal VCA in a patch. You see I've simplified quite a few things, but I still have my second oscillator through an attenuator coming into the external audio input on the Moog, mixing its VCO with this external oscillator through its filter, low pass, a little bit of cutoff, a little bit of envelope from this external ADSR. But now I'm going to patch the output of the VCF through the data so you can see the waveform, the yellow waveform again, and take that output into the input of my M277. And again, the green waveform is the output of this VCA going into my audio output. The amplitude works as an initial level control. Let's turn down gain here a little bit, just for starters. Some quite different responses there. Again, we have this little idiosyncrasy around the zero point. As I increase amplitude high enough, that little idiosyncrasy goes away to a large degree. But at lower amplitudes, it's back until we cut off. Okay, let's go ahead and replace an amplitude with the output of my envelope generator from the Mother 32. A simple attack, release with sustain, holding on whenever I hold down a note. Come into the amplitude input. This now becomes an attenuator for this signal. Sounds like the initial envelope's quite strong and causing this to clip. Let's back down on the amplitude. Probably the impulse from the filter. There we go. Now it's a nice hot overdriven VCA. But when I release a note, listen to what happens and watch the green waveform. We have that little bit of strange die away as we clip off onto that zero volt level rather than a nice long decay. I'll try a longer decay here. Four stalls is a little bit longer. Still not particularly clean. Short notes. No sustain. Yeah, there is some roughness to that release. What if I switched over to using an ADSR instead of just an AR? Well, I have both of these envelopes in the Roland 540 triggered from my keyboard. I'll just go ahead and pull the envelope generator and take the envelope generator from the Moog and plug it into the Roland 540. Here's the decay. But if I have my sustain level too low, I get that cutting out behavior again works better with higher sustain levels. Now the nice thing about the Roland's envelopes, it has a very gradual fall off. Let's see what that does to the release. Maybe a little longer. Still have a bit of distortion there at the fall off. I think it's being accentuated by the envelope on the filter. Let's open up the filter. getting a much more normal response there. But we're not really gaining anything by going to an ADSR. I think we're better at keeping our sustain level full level here. There we go, big fat sound. Now we can play with the drive. Mellow, a little bit of high end, a little bit of clipping there on the peaks. Add some extra high harmonics. So it's nice as a hot overdriven VCA, but I really don't like that release. Well, the solution to that is to place this VCA before your filter. That way, when your low pass filter closes down, it helps bury some of that artifact of the way that this happens to release into silence. So let's take another quick break and I'll change the patch again. <laughs> 